Yo, Jay from 6627A here, and I just wanted to do a quick robot explanation just because um, this robot's getting scrapped pretty soon, and for our V3, so I said, uh, you know, why not just do the long awaited <laughs> robot explanation that I haven't done because I'm too lazy, but yeah, so this was our um, V2. We had a flywheel in the summer, but we ended up taking a catapult as our V2 to our first comp. So um, I guess some of the main features are the catapult itself. Um, here's the gearbox for it. It was a 84 to a 60 slip. We should have probably made this a 36, but we didn't really know what we were doing. And then here's the ratchet. It was on a 6-2 sprocket, which again, we should have made into a actual gear as well. But then again, we also didn't know who we were doing with that, so that's how that went. Um, for the catapult itself, this is the launch angle. We tried to get it to be as parallel to the floor as possible. But obviously it's slightly under parallel as you can see. Um, probably from the six tournaments it's been through, it's gotten quite a beating. And then um, the actual cata itself, its load angle is about right there and it um yeah there's a limit switch and that's how it stops and then um something interesting about this robot is we um did something called band boosting where um so once the kata was in load position what we would do for band boost is um Say this is load we would get these or bands these extra tensioning that would be on the catapult right here and then we would give me a second we would tie them around these yo editor j here and this is about the distance we'd get with two discs we tried three but were pretty unsuccessful so we just did two for the win point it looks something like this where we would tie these to those standoffs back there and then it would give us like a boost see if it would have hit like the mid court shots during auton okay well it didn't fire but yeah and then once it's up it would the bands would just come right off on its own. So when it goes back down to load, it wouldn't be tension over tensioned. So we're able to overfill the goals. And then um, roller mech, pretty simple, one flex wheel. There's been some changes since the reveal, um, like our ramp. I don't think we had this in the reveal, but pretty much how our ramp works is on the Bottom here, it's just a plexi sheet. Um, it's just a plexi sheet like this. And then it is held together. There's another plexi sheet in the middle here. And it's zip tied actually to the bottom plexi and a top plexi. So to explain it a little better, it's like a trampoline almost. The middle plexi is suspended in between the top and bottom plexi pieces that are stationary. So this is has a little bit of give just so that the discs can hit this when it goes in and then kind of reform this ramp so that it's smoother going up. So that was pretty cool. And then um, these seem to help even though that the discs do hit here just because the groove of the disc, um, since the center is more concave, these flaps help it kind of push up a little. And then, um, uh, there's the expansion neck, which is right here. And um, how it work is, um, we got like one of these things, and then we would suspend it around this part right here, put it wrap it around that, and then pull it back, and then to that standoff. So imagine it's suspended like this. And then when the air actuates, actually, we might still have air left. Oh, sick. We do have air left. And then it's like this. 
and then we tie it around like that. And then when that actuates, I don't know if I have like a, I can launch into that couch. When this actuates, um, how do I actuate it? I don't have a screwdriver on me, but if I turn off the air, oh shoot, yeah, it does. It does fire like that and it pulls out the string with it, which is um in our little box compartment here, which is a uh, three buys and then a plexi sheet on the side. So yeah. And then yeah, that's about that's about it. If people were interested, we have a 360 RPM drive and then our front guards. Um, it's like angled and it doesn't work as a wedge, but it does work fairly well on their defense and we can use this to kind of keep ourselves in the game kind of defensively and offensively. So how I attached that was like this. I had a plate go across the middle. It's a little jank, but I had a plate go across the middle like this. And then um, I zip tied this C channel, which is attached to the front plexi from the top and bottom. So like that. And then so pretty much this plexi is solely here for our surface area. And the C channel on the bottom is actually reinforcing it. And um, yeah, I mean, we had some nice battery placement. The battery would go inside the robot there for nice center of gravity. And oh, shoot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is our V2 and it's getting scrapped now.